Police are looking for a driver who hit and killed an elderly woman in a wheelchair. It happened in North Hollywood this morning. It happened on Burbank Boulevard near Fulcher. That's where KKL 9's Jasmine Veal is live with more on the investigation. Jasmine. Yeah, Juan Sandra, of course, so tragic out here. Uh, this woman really just lived a few blocks from where she was hit and killed here, right in the street as she was trying to cross it. We're told to head back home. Police, they do have security video that they hope is the evidence they need to find this driver. Now, we are learning much more about this woman, the victim, well known in this neighborhood. I want to get to a photo uh, of her given to us just moments ago by a neighbor. She'd been here some 50 50 years. Her nickname was Sunshine, and we are told she had cerebral palsy and just liked to get out of her house and socialize. This security video shows the violent hit and run this morning in North Hollywood that killed a woman in a wheelchair. Police say she was legally crossing Burbank Boulevard at Bonner around 3:30 when the driver of this newer model white Ford Transit van hit her. No sooner did I cross, get on my block. I heard impact, and I knew. I just knew. Candy Moore says she was with the victim just moments before her friend was struck. The impact so hard, it sent sparks flying down the street. And I noticed it was her. Nobody would stop for her. She just kept saying, oh, oh, and then she said my name, but that was it. Moore, also in a wheelchair, says her friend, whom she calls Betty, and lived just a few blocks away with a caregiver. David Newman also knew the victim and says he's nearly been hit in this busy street as well. It's, it's sad. I mean, I, I know her from going across the street to 7 Eleven all the time. I mean, the easiest thing, especially like with a convenience store at the corner, would probably be to either put a stop sign or a, a street light. Police say the woman was in her 70s and dragged about 100 feet down the street. People need to slow down, just slow down. Down. This is not some video game. Police confident, though, they'll find the driver. Man, the person just needs to come forward and be honest because that's somebody's mother, that's somebody's grandmother, that, that's somebody's friend, man. She didn't deserve that. Now, the city does have a reward program in place. If someone helps them convict and arrest these hit and run drivers, police want people to know that. Also, they want the driver, of course, to turn themselves in as this investigation is moving forward very quickly. They have some very strong leads. And Juan and Sandra, meantime, neighbors saying she, this woman doesn't have a lot of family. They're trying to raise money now for her funeral. That is sad in so many ways. All right, Jasmine, thank you.